<laughs> yeah, we get the vibing, don't we? We got some topics to discuss. We get it popping, homie. Just elected like the new mayor. Putting on the classic like he Rick Flair. This is Josh Martinez and Z100. Home of your favorite music where the beats are bumping. Pick your favorite company. The wait is over. It's a superstar crossover. I can set my... Hey, yo, what's going on? I'm Josh Martinez of iHeartRadio's newest wrestling podcast, The Superstar Crossover, with my guest, the longest reigning Intercontinental Champ of this century, Gunther. What's going on, man? How are you doing? I'm good. Let's just jump right into things. What, what was uh, your reaction to seeing your action figure for the very first time? Um, the recent one I saw is coming out soon, but the older one, um, yeah, obviously it's great. Um, I'm not a big, big item collector and stuff, so uh, I don't have it up in my house or something like that, but it was, it's nice to give it as a present to uh, your family, your friends and stuff like that. So um, that's a super cool thing when basically you can hand yourself over as a present, I would say. You don't uh, plan on keeping at least one? Oh, no, no, I kept one, but it's like, it's not in my place. I don't have it like, Put up somewhere and stuff like this. You don't have it randomly displayed in your living room like this or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've you've fought all across the world, Netherlands, Germany, all around. Do you have a specific favorite country that you've uh, battled in? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think going a lot of different places is one of the big perks of our profession. Um, to travel and see a lot of places and every place is individual so is every culture so everything has its pros and cons i would say uh different cultures react differently to uh to what we do um and you just gotta figure that out and then yeah enjoy it in its unique way everywhere when did you realize that your style of chop is enough of a move set to just kind of let it sit with the fans and let it resonate like oh shit that was a big move um i think kind of early um <laughs> i just always thought what um what makes sense for me to do i've always thought i have really long limbs so i was thinking okay maybe i should use them as good as possible and then over the time um yeah i realized how the, the audience reacts to it, and then I just started using it in more important positions in the match. Now, you and I are more or less the same age. So growing up, the Intercontinental title was so prestigious, so important. Um, was getting the IC title and bringing it back to its prestige something that you had on your bucket list? Um, no, I didn't have that on my bucket list because I would say I, I don't really have one either. I just want to get the most out of the things I do, um, but I approached it that way. Like when I became Intercontinental Champion, yeah, I right away thought, okay, like I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna try to put my own spin on it and yeah, add my bit to its history and it's already rich history. Um, that's definitely my approach about it. Now you've had a lot of great matches as champ uh, with Ricochet, with Sheamus at Clash of the Castle. Um, a lot of people said it was a match of the year. When you're in that element, do you realize, like literally in the middle of the match, oh, this is special, special? Um, obviously, you realize if things go well or not. <laughs> obviously, you get that right away. But uh, yeah, during during a match, you don't think about, I don't know, what's the, what's the feedback going to be after or stuff like that. You just kind of like go with the flow and try to get the most out of it. And I'm way more focused on yeah, what I do in the ring at that moment. Um, afterwards, obviously, it's nice to get really positive feedback and see the excitement that we were able to create. Um, but during the process, I would say I'm really just focused on the task uh, I got to do and yeah, try to get the most out of it for the audience in that moment. So in another week and a half, you're going to be right over there. I'm staring at Manhattan, Madison Square Garden. How important of a building is that to you? Oh, being in the ring there is fantastic. Um, I love those classic and uh, 
wrestling buildings, I would say, all over the world. And Madison Square Garden is, yeah, one of them. And yeah, I like New York overall. I think it's a fantastic city. Uh, I love going there. Uh, so go there to actually wrestling Madison Square Garden. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm always looking forward now when it's when I see it on the schedule, and I'm happy when I'm on it. So uh, nowadays, Logan Paul, Bad Bunny, a lot of celebrities coming into the wrestling realm. What are your thoughts on that? When celebrities, non wrestlers, come in and get a prominent spot. I mean, it's kind of like, obviously, it's a little bit two-sided because it's obviously as somebody that wrestles all year round and there comes WrestleMania. It's somebody that is always working. There's obviously the drive of being like, okay, I want to be, I want to be in that big spectacle. And obviously some, some spots won't be available because we have uh, celebrities coming in like uh, Bad Bunny or Logan, and I get that part that there's a little bit of a frustration, but on the other hand, I think it helps us immensely. Like it helps everybody involved. It helps uh, our business in general to generate way more attention to it. Um, the only thing I think that is really important is that whoever comes in from the outside and takes part <clears throat> in what we do, uh, he's got to have a passion for it as well as everybody else does. And he's got to take it as serious to, yeah, be part of our product. Um, and I think that's the case with the celebrities we have right now. I think uh, they're contributing a lot and they're really putting the work in. Um, they're putting their bodies on the line too. I mean, if you look at everything Logan done so far, um, he's not hesitating to take any risk. Um, I would say he... He might be willing to take a little bit more risk than I would personally <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, those two cases that I just mentioned as an example, I think are really prime examples of how somebody that is a celebrity outside of our world can really contrib contribute positively uh, to our business. Now, let's get to know Gunther a little bit. What type of music do you listen to? Um... Depends on the occasion, I would say, um, but it's it's really a mixed bag. Um, when I work out, I listen to more rap, like 90s West Coast rap and stuff and heavy metal. And when I'm just out and I just want to chill or something, I really like I really like reggae. I like a lot of my I like, I like a lot of German Austrian music. Um, yeah, it really depends on yeah the the situation. I also Classical music is also very nice too. I listen to that very often. So it's a very mixed bag. <laughs> um, coming up this week is actually International Women's Day. Who would yeah. you say are the most important women in your life? In my life? Um, obviously, uh, my wife and my mother, I would say. Now, what, what type of inspiration have they led to you? Um, I'm very blessed. Like my parents and now specifically my mother. Um, yeah, they always supported me in what I wanted to do. I was a uh, when I was young, I would say I was a little bit more of a difficult child, and uh, always wanted to follow my own, yeah, the things I wanted to do, and I ignored everything that I should do in their eyes. So it was not easy to deal with me, I think, especially when I like turn around 13, 14, 15, that age. Um, but they always supported me, and they always had my back in any situation. Um, and that's something I'm super grateful for. And even like to this day, I know it's like if everything goes wrong, if there's one person I can turn to, then it's always going to be my mom. And then always my wife, Ginny, um, she's totally my backbone. Um, and she, yeah, she inspired me in a lot of different ways. Um, I think a lot of that is very personal too. So it's like hard to elaborate now but uh i can say of the a big part of the product i am now and all the developments i made over the last uh, two years she's been an integral part of that i love that man that's dope i feel like women are the most powerful creatures on the planet <laughs> we get all their energy from them and their strength you know yes so one more time uh gunther 
I appreciate you stopping by. A uh, shorter interview today because we had technical issues to start and it's all loved out. But we'll see you soon, man. Okay, thank you very much. And thanks for having me. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.